Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Ballon Brands, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a pop-up on your website in order to capture more leads using a lead magnet. Okay, so what I have up here is a website that's designed using Elementor Page Builder in WordPress, and I'm already logged into the admin, so I have my login, my admin bar up here. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and click on Dashboard. I'm gonna pull up here under Templates, we'll see there's a lot of different templates I can do. I'm gonna do pop-ups, that's what I'm focusing on today. So I'm gonna click on pop-ups. Now if I already had some pop-ups installed or set up for my website, then I'd see a list of those here, but since I don't, we're gonna do a, a new one, um, our first one, brand new. So I can click either here, add new pop-up, or up here, add new. I'm gonna go ahead and click on either one of those. And you'll see there's a lot of different template types that I can create in Elementor. Um, it's pre-selected pop-up because that's where I came from, but this is also where we do landing pages, headers, footers, and so forth. We're going to go ahead and keep pop-up, and then we're going to go ahead and put in a name here. Let's say buyer resource guide. So let's say we want to do this for uh, buyers that come to our website. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create template. Now it's going to load here in the next screen all the different pre-designed templates that we might be able to use. Okay, so if there's, if you want to notice where these are showing up. So for example, this down here, it's at the bottom. So that means it's going to be one of those bottom bars that pops up. Um, this one's also a bottom one. This it shows in the center of the page. This one shows off to the right. So it kind of gives you an idea. So if you know what you're looking for, maybe you're just trying to promote an event and you want a little, like a little banner at the top of the screen, then you can go ahead and select, you know, one of those that's already predefined for you. In this case, I want one that's gonna show up pretty much like right in the middle of the screen. So I'm gonna choose, let's say this one. We'll go ahead and just click insert. I'm gonna let that load here. And here we go. So that's pretty straightforward on this particular one, right? We've got some predefined text here. We've got, uh, this is what they're gonna fill out in order to get what it is that we're telling them. And now when I click on each of these elements, that's where I can get into some of the uh, different layouts. So maybe I don't want it to be green. So I can click up here to style. We've got some backgrounds. We've got different things that I can choose color wise in there. Um, then we have down here is the actual form. So if I wanted to edit the form, you'll see I can add things from like email. Maybe I want to go ahead and add name as one of those. So we're going to say text. We're going to call this one name. Is it required or not required? Okay, so we can kind of choose to do all of that and you know build our form out the, any way that we want to here. Okay, so in this case, you know, if email, you see that in there, that's all fine. So I can kind of put as a placeholder to like name so they can see put their name. We've got the submit buttons, we've got everything in there that we want. Okay, so in this case, instead of sign up and get 10% off, we're gonna say um, download for your guide and then maybe we put you need this okay so obviously we're going to change all the different text and verbiage that's going to be appropriate for your particular download but just wanted to show you how we're going to create and edit these different things so I can right click on the little um, these little dots here and I can edit the intersection um, that's where everything pops up here the structure again the style some advanced things like motion effects and all of that good stuff um, we're just going to go ahead and leave most of that unless you get into some of the more advanced uh, type of things that you might want to do there but as you learn you can grow but we don't want to make it too complicated now okay so all right so let's say we're good with that right we have this particular um, thing we've got it all dialed in the way we want it and we're going to go ahead and click publish now when we publish it we're we have to tell it when do we want it to come up what do we want things to happen um, do we want it to pop up as soon as someone lands on the page do we want it to pop up only on particular pages so this allows us to actually do conditions, which is really what makes pop-ups valuable. Okay, if you just have pop-ups on your website, no matter who goes there, and you know, maybe if it's on your homepage and a buyer download, you know, buyer resource pops up, well then that's not valuable to a potential seller, right? So we wanna put certain conditions in place that's gonna make this more valuable 
to those because otherwise they're just seen as a nuisance if they don't actually offer value. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add condition and you can see here, so do we include it on the entire site or are we gonna do it on a single page, for example? So is it all single pages or is it posts in, you know, in particular? Or is it in a particular category? So in this case, I like category and then we would do buyers if we have a buyer category set up. So see how we have buying? So in this case, the condition is, is it's going to pop up for any blog that's being read in the buyer category. So that seems pretty appropriate, right? If it's a buyer download, then it's a particular resource for buyers. Therefore, it's only gonna pop up on the buyer pages. So super valuable to be able to, to do that for us. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on triggers. And do I want it to do on page load? Like as soon as they go? Probably not, like I said, we don't really wanna jump in right away and, and try to get them to sign up as soon as they hit the page. Uh, we could do it on scroll, which means they've landed on the page and they start to scroll down. So then maybe it pops up because it shows that they're engaging now. Um, we can do on scroll to certain elements. We can do on click. So if they were to click on something, then it does it. Um, after they're inactive, so if it's something like, hey, don't forget or wait, you know, we could actually do it that, or we can actually do it on exit. So when they click back or they try to leave the page, then we could pop it up like, hey, don't forget your resource. Okay, so all of these are different options. So we'll just go ahead and do on scroll, where they scroll down or up, how much of the page of which they scroll. So you can see you get really detailed here on you know, what options we have for these different triggers, which is really cool. And then there's some even advanced rules, if that's not enough, where we can actually have it show after certain page use, how many t sessions, meaning how many times they've come back, um, how many times do we want it to show up? Maybe we only want it to show up once ever and never again to someone. Um, you can hide it for people that are logged in. So you can see there's a lot of different things that we can see and change and rules that we can apply. So just really think about what what your intent is, who the audience is, when do we want to ask them to register so that we get the most value out of what we're offering them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and close. So again, just to recap, our conditions are on any buyer page and the trigger is when you scroll down more than 50% of the page, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, save and close. And that's it, we're all set. So your pop-ups live, have a look. I can click on that and of course this doesn't really give us good, this, this have a look is more appropriate when we create a template, like a page template or something like that. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and go to, let's say one of our buying pages. I'm gonna click on a buyer blog. So this is a resource, which is one of the pages that we do. And I'm scrolling down and depending on how long the page is, there we go. So I hit that 50% mark. So now the pop-up shows up because I've been reading the article as a visitor, right? I'm in there and then I get this pop-up saying, oh, here's a resource to download how to, you know, be a better buyer or, you know, the steps to buying a home. So again, really, you know, really strategic in who we're trying to offer this to, who we're trying to get to set up um, or who we're, you know, trying to get to register. And we want it to be appropriate. Our goal is not just to see how many people, let's, Let's you know, throw it out to 100 people, 100 visitors, and hope that we get a couple signups. We want this to be valuable. You know, because we have the ability to do these more strategic placements, that gives us that option to offer value and then therefore get value. So if you have any questions on this, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at